But uh, hello everyone and welcome to another episode, or well, the first episode, or and or stream, depending on where you're watching this, of Rare Replay. Now, um, I will explain this in the future. For you it'll be the past, unless you're watching it on stream, in which case I'll explain it now. Um, except no one's here yet, so anyway, point is, um, yes, so I've bought Rare Replay. I plan on streaming pretty much everything I play on here. And then later on I'll upload it as an episode. So we've got a whole host of uh, library games to play. I kind of plan on playing them all chronologically. And obviously some of these later titles are quite large. So uh, they will be multiple episodes. So um, yeah, today I'm going to play an hour or two of Jetpack. A game I've never played before. So uh, let's get started. Right. Description. Uh, released 1983, arcade shooting one to two players, grab rocket parts and fuel to assemble your spaceship while blasting through waves of deadly aliens. Okay. Cool, let's do it. Save games, will yep. Ooh, wow, this is, this is a classic. Okay. Join the jet set. I wonder if that shows up on the stream. I hope not. No, it does not. Excellent. All right, ooh. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so I can only pick up one piece at a time. And if I hover above here, it just sort of automatically drops. Ooh, a diamond! Sweet. Is there any other? Ooh, oh, that's rewind from the. <laughs> you have some fuel rocket. What's this thing? Ooh, a diamond! Some more fuel fuel up rocket. Oh wow! Oh, oh A is shoot. Oh, I can, can I shoot these fireballs? Oh, I can. Does that get me more points? I assume so. Oh wow! I love it. This is so classic. Uh, I'm not getting any music, which might just be because it has none. So. This is the first time, yeah, this is the first time I'm playing uh, Rare Replay. Uh, my sort of goal was that I would not play any of it outside of streams. And then, even if it doesn't happen to be in the episode, I'll maybe I'll put up an uncut version of the stream. Don't know. Uh, but, whoa, I pressed the wrong button there. No! Diamond, please. Die, green fireball. Okay, so now let's... Do I get in it? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, we're landing again. No, come... No, take off! What's, what, what are you doing? Oh, okay. That was fun. Also, now we need to... Ah! So now we need to go and refuel. Have we landed on a different planet? Is that how this works? Oh my god, this is not good. <laughs> no, go away, go away, go away. Okay, this has got significantly more difficult. Very quickly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Let's fuel down that. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, I was going to do some more exploring of the, the uh, rare replay controls, but this requires a lot more effort than I was expecting. Oh god, video games have got so much easier in the last few years. This is what, 1985? So, this is much older than I am. Oh, whoops, game over. Oh, Ooh, okay, looks like we're playing another game. Was just an. Uh, oh God, can I reset? Oh, oh no, what I can do is rewind. Yes. Right, run away. Oh, what? The answer is, don't stand still. Ha ha. I've become a master at this. There is a two-player version. So, uh, is this the one that I want? It's shiny. 
Oh. So is this Rare's first ever game? Is that how this works? There are a whole bunch of um just what I'm looking for, documentaries. I guess. Um directors interviews and stuff that you can watch from within game, which I will obviously not be doing on stream because I feel like that's both not very entertaining content. What was that? Not very entertaining content and uh copyright infringement on many levels. Here we go, Ray, we're off. So long, suckers. Now it's off to the weird fuzzy dudes. Let's play it in classic mode for a bit. Oh man, I cannot do that. That is... I mean, it's a cool feature, but I don't understand why anyone would ever want to. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, we did it, we did it. We're a pro. <sighs> this thing looks like it's about to despawn. Ow, oh, why am I such a spoon? Okay, it's fine. It, you grab the fuel, put the fuel into the thing. There we go. Cool. <laughs> oh, this is genuinely more fun than Destiny. And the best thing about this is, <laughs> I keep playing, try and get to the end. Uh, oh, I can't do that. Yeah. This is the kind of time where, if I was playing this regularly, I would definitely have music playing. But because oh, okay, I feel like that's unfair. But uh, obviously, because I'm a both in stream. And uh, there isn't any background music for this. It's quite quiet. <laughs> Maybe I'll put my headphones on. My other headphones. Double up on headphoneage. So the answer for these things is obviously don't stand at the edge. They don't make classic platformers like this anymore. The reason is because mobile gaming is so much more advanced now that there's not really any need to make a game this... Or is it, I was going to say bad, cause, but that's kind of unfair. You know what I mean? This old school. Because they can make, like, you know, Pokemon simulators that are better than the actual Pokemon game on mobile because they don't have any of the copyright brand identity stuff going on. So games like this kind of just don't happen anymore. Except in these kinds of um, like specific nostalgia games. Can we get that? Yeah we can. Is there any reason why we can't just stay at the top here? No! Fine, we've got two more guys left. Do we get three lives per level? Or per run? Oh, sure. I think it's per level, because... Um, we died on the last time, didn't we? Did we? Maybe we didn't. No, no, please don't die. Come on, get the rocket. Get the rocket. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is great fun. My high score is apparently 6,990. And I've got further this time, so... Oh, that's handy. I've got a little um, timer at the bottom. I have a horrible habit of overrunning my videos, because... I mean, like, in the zone. And what are those things? Oh, day. Day? Day. Game over. Oh. No. 16 levels? So we've got a lot of work to do in the next hour or two. Uh, obviously, um, I, don't, I won't be able to play all of the games fully per stream. 
but oh, damn it. I mean, bother. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, obviously I won't be able to play all of the games fully on stream because stuff like Banjo Kazooie is more than two hours of gameplay, especially if you're uh, trying to enjoy yourself. Get the diamond. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking maybe a game like this, one stream is probably enough for you to get thoroughly bored of what's going on as a viewer. Um, so, yeah, and then maybe you'll do some of the snapshots in a separate one. I don't know. Oh, we can. Oh, we can just press up and down. Oh, that's cool. Uh, oh, we can get in the rocket now. No, oh, as if. Uh, I've also just noticed I've got one up instead of one, like P1, P2. Interesting. I wonder how this works with two people. Because it says one controller, so is it just like score attack? You play. Um, you each play a level and. Once player one is done, player two plays the level. I don't know. I guess technically we could find out. I mean, I've only got one person here, but... Don't stand next to the edge. Why am I a moron? Okay, it's fine. A whole army of fuzzy things. Okay, don't skimp out on the shooting. I think that's a good philosophy. <laughs> So I have heard some of the snapshots are hilariously difficult. Um, oh dear, I'm not going to be able to do this. So that should be at least entertaining. <laughs> oh damn. We've been going for 17 minutes and it's just been, woo, retro games. Damn, I'm dead. Woohoo, retro games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, here we go. Maybe there's a pro strats that I can Google. <laughs> nah, there's. See, I'm obviously going. For, I'm going for the achievements rather than high scores because, in my head, if I do all the achievements, then that is the game. Compl oh, I can go across like that. Out. Yeah, in my head, if I've done all the achievements, then I've done in all of the game. Uh, I've sufficiently completed the game to the developer's <laughs> satisfaction. Like, if there's a game where 100% completion isn't one of the achievements, the developer clearly doesn't expect you to 100% it. <laughs> For Xbox, at least. And there's stuff like Just Cause 2, where getting 100%. <laughs> if someone says they've got 100% on Just Cause 2, they're lying to you. And in fact, if someone's saying they've got close, as close as possible, I think it's what, 99.7% is the best you can get on Just Cause 2. Someone who says that is also probably lying. Uh, I sort of forget. Oh, yeah, achievements. So um, there's like six achievements for each game. And that's usually just play X amount or play enough to do X number of fuel things for this one or uh, evacuations or whatever. So, oh, I killed him. <sighs> and then there's snapshots for each level as well. Which consist of um, like little pieces of the game with specific challenges in. Uh, so uh, the one I'm aware of, which is apparently horrendously difficult, is for Battle Toads, where you play a like a, a, a race track thing for as long as possible, a jetpack joyride style game. Uh, do I want that? No, I can't be bothered. Let's just go. 
And yeah, the snapshots are kind of the developer's equivalent of. I'm going to finish the sentence before I mute just to spite her. Um, the, the developer's equivalent of, here, let's give you something to do that doesn't involve randomly grinding for hours and hours. It's a way of sort of uh, experiencing these games in a different way as well. I don't understand what these bubble things are. They're just moving like a zigzag? Or a hexagon zigzag? That's strange. Mm -hmm. um, I need to start killing them though. But I also can't really bounce down there. If we can finish the level without... Oh, There are a couple of uh, not um like latency bugs, but every now and then it decides it's gonna move without me telling it to. Which I would say is annoying because it might get me killed, but at the end of the day, that's not what's gonna get me killed. It's gonna be my being an idiot. Okay, go, 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 go. <sighs> that was lucky. Run! No! <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. Okay, let's get out of it. Go to level four. Three. Level four. <laughs> Sorry, flashing images. <laughs> okay, um... What's this? Oh, Are they meant to be like little spaceships? Oh, they explode. Okay. Oh, do they actually chase after me? Is that what their thing is? See, this is the kind of uh, gameplay that Binding of Isaac is trying to replicate. Is this the sort of the skill within it is learning? What's going to happen? No, I was so close. <laughs> I'll play a game. Uh, and yeah, if it doesn't make it into the episode, then that's fine. I'm not planning on doing a huge amount of editing. I'm just going to do a start and a finish cut, I think. Maybe a couple of little cuts if I might go into the menus and that sort of thing. But... Yeah, I'm kind of hoping this will be a low maintenance series where I'm playing it for fun and I decide to record it as a. Oh, <laughs> oh two. Yeah, decide to just record it. Because it's a lot more fun, I think, uh, sharing this kind of thing. Might not be great footage to watch, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll be a big hit. Oh, why? I'm never going to be a big hit if I keep doing stupid things like that. Ooh, I don't understand what that is. I know the the green one looks like a meter of some description. That's a gold bar. Fireballs. Oh, I can leave. See, I'm not back up to three lives now. I must get extra lives. Oh, that's a really annoying sound. Can we hurry up and land, please? Thank you. And go, 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 go. Gold, gold, go for gold. No. <laughs> Grab that. Get the gold. Kill some dudes. I'm now I'm on zero lives. And now I'm dead. Um, oh, so actually, that's something I can talk about while I'm screwing up. Uh, so why did I actually buy Rare Replay? It's it was for for a start. I think it was overpriced for me. Uh, to start with, it was I think it was a thirty pound launch game. 
But um, I already have. I have Banjo Kazooie on the N64. I also have Nuts and Bolts and Trouble in Paradise. And possibly one of the others. I think I have one of the Battle Toads. A very old one. But uh, yeah, point is, at retail price, it wasn't really worth it for me because I already had the biggest games on there. Which is fine. I was. If I didn't, then Rare Replay would have been an excellent sell for me on launch. But it wasn't. Um, and a couple of weeks ago, the there was a Microsoft sale on the Xbox, and both Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie were available on uh, the 360, like backwards compatible. So I thought, wonderful. Uh, should I keep talking while this is going or not? Um, so yeah, I thought, excellent, let's buy those, because it's like a fiver, something to do with the summer, you know. And, um, what? I actually, I, I came incredibly close to buying it, to the point where I think I was already inputting my card details, um, when I thought, hang on, these are in rare, rare replay. I wonder how much that is. So I looked at it on Amazon, it was like a fiver, same price. So, yeah. And uh, Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie are probably going to be the last games I play on here, because they're so long. Uh, so yeah, that's how I ended up buying Rare Replay. And for Fiverr, it is 100% worth it. I would never not have bought it if it was this price to start with. Uh, oh no, 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 please don't die. Please, no, please, no, anything, no. Kill those three right now. Nope, don't be... Come on. Okay, let's... Go up here. Oh, that was so close. Whew. And, yeah, I think Rare, as a game developer, are one of the... best game developers of all time. Even though the only games I've played so far are the Banjo games and a Viva Pinata game. Like, Rare, as a company, are so... were? I don't actually think they're still a thing. They're certainly not making Banjo-Kazooie games anymore. Um, Rare, as a game developer, were so... I'm going to use the word self-aware. Um, just they knew what they were doing, and they weren't afraid to make fun of themselves. They could see when a game was bad and they made jokes about it and it's, they're, yeah they're not afraid to take themselves uh, take the mick out of themselves a little bit oh as if no that was the end <laughs> oh that's such a horrible noise in my headphones <laughs> it looks so good. That um like old TV mode looks brilliant. Change it back just because uh, it does give me a little bit of a headache. No wonder parents in the eighties were all oh you can't you can't watch too much telly, it'll give your eyes it'll make your eyes boil out. It's because they had to deal with that. HD has fixed the entire eye crisis that we've been having. Uh, that's backed up by totally unscientific research. And this this is sort of what happens. I just sort of go mad when I'm on the stream. <laughs> I'm just killing enemies for fun now. Let me go home. Hey. Really wish you could speed this up or mute it or something. It's going to be played at my funeral just to make sure people are irritated. Can you hear that? If you can hear that, then that's really irritating. I can't 
really stop to find out either. Because we're on a rock. Oh, hang on, I can pause it. I will never know if you can actually hear that or not, but uh, one of my neighbours has decided to mow the lawn, which is fine, you know, I'm not going to tell them they can't, but uh, it does it does mean that there's a chance we'll have some background noise, so that's fun. I wonder what enemy we'll get after the bubble guys, if we get past the bubble guys. Close. Get the diamond! Get the gold! Get out of here! Oh, we missed one. Whoops. Oh, this is a new level, so welcome back everyone <laughs> from the video. Is this a new stage? Oh no, this is the weird bird thingies. We have no lives. Uh, oh, I see spiders online. That's nice. Hi, cameo. <laughs> Don't kill me. Go. No. <laughs> God, this is stressful. <laughs> yes, and now, oh, we have to rebuild our rocket. Oh, that was the weird UFO things. What? What do I do? They chase me. Oh, well, we got to a new level. Okay, so we're on the next level again, which is the weird UFO things. I just topped my high score, which is nice. I have to rebuild the rocket, so. Whoa, I thought I was a lot lower than that. Oh. Rebuild the rocket. Oh, no, no, please, no. Kind of despawn, or is it just glitchy? Ugh. <laughs> oh, that was too close. No. <sighs> oh my God! Get out of here! Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, my heart is racing. Okay, now we have a whole new enemy to learn. Oh, it's the D-pad dudes. I might be wrong, but I think th these guys definitely seem easier than the... Wait. Uh, nope. No! Ah, uh, you're doing well. Uh, 
And yeah, just double checking, the achievement doesn't lock. So um, when you play like Minecraft Creative, it locks the achievement so you can't cheat. Apparently you can just cheat as much as you like with this. <laughs> And there's fuel dropped right next to me. That is beautiful. Ooh. I can't remember what these are called in Star Wars. The weird sand speeders? Is that what they are? I can only remember the Lego one. I think they've released a new Lego one of this. I just remember the uh, mini kit version where you had about four uh, blocks to put together. I love those. Those are great. Come along now. Fuel up. There we go. That was an easy fall. I think the uh, UFO one is definitely the hardest. We're halfway there. That's 120,000. Probably get it not too difficultly. Just spamming up and down. And... Thinking would it be easier if I was against a different enemy. So I'm going to call it an episode there. And if you've enjoyed, please like it and comment and all that jazz. I've been streaming for about an hour and a half. And I'll probably cut it down to a much, much shorter episode. Maybe two 20 minute videos or one 40 minute video-ish. I don't know. Uh, when I'm watching it back, I'll include all of the rad commentary. And get rid of some of the irritating stuff, like the woofing and the lawn mowing and all that jazz. So, uh, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. I've been Ninjas96, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.